A new man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Hey friends, I have a question for you. Do you get sick of Jason and I doing the same things on his days off? Because <laughs> I am. I'm getting sick of doing the same things. Um, we are going to Costco, going to the post office, and then we have nothing else to do. Um, anyway, just wondering if you guys get sick of it. Maybe we'll sh sh you know, walk around with you guys more at Costco. I want to look for a few new things. Oh my gosh, there was something I was going to look for. I have my list here. Also, reading all your comments today about Chelsea's birthday. It is fun to have her be in the videos more. So I think I might have to just pull the camera out and she has chickens because she likes to be filmed with the chickens, <laughs> which they might not be sticking around. We'll talk about that later when I get more information. I've got to ask a friend if, if they can take them. What was I looking for? My list, my list at Costco. I'm looking for milk, eggs, and jelly. I want to show you a quick teacher's gift um, after I check this stuff. We have peanut butter. Let's see if there's peanut butter in the garage. I cannot believe that was another freaking goldfish. Oh, Ashley, I just vacuumed everywhere. Ugh. You can't even see it. Just another goldfish that is stepped on. Jelly. Checking jelly. I have jelly. Almost gone, that's what I thought. Okay, so I wanted to show you this cute little gift that we're getting Ashley's teacher. So her teacher is from Hawaii. I can't remember now what island, maybe Oahu. Um, I don't know how long she's lived here, regardless. Has a love of Hawaii, so when Ashley told her about me getting the ukulele Legos for Christmas, she's like, oh, I think you would love the ukulele, you know. Legos and so then her teacher looked it up online and she's like, oh my gosh, I need those So I have been trying to look ever since then at Getting more Legos. I haven't been able to find an extra set of Legos To set to give to her. I wanted to give them to her for her birthday I wanted to give them to her for teacher appreciation day So I'm giving her mine because I can't find them online anywhere and I'm very lucky to have gotten the one that I got from Jason and as much as I would like to have two sets and have a cute little surfboard or something else, I'm gonna give it to her. But with that in mind, kind of going off of this kind of Hawaiian theme, um, but also um, like using pineapples is kind of my inspiration. Um, do you guys know the quote? Um, and I haven't made the little sign yet. Um, it's not, we're not anywhere near the end of school. I just thought of this and I kind of wanted to get it done. So the quote of be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet. I want to print that off, some little cute, maybe I'll make a, a cuter one. Um, I want to print that off for her um, and just basically give her a thank you note um, and tell her that, <clears throat> and it makes me kind of cry. And I, when I told it to Ashley, she kind of cried too, because she understood. Um, and I just want to thank her teacher for wearing her own crown and showing Ashley the example of owning your own crown and standing tall, <clears throat> helping Ashley find her own crown. So, and Ashley just, she kind of got choked up and I told her that and she said, mom, she did. She did help me find my crown. So this teacher has been a lifesaver for Ashley to finish elementary school. Sorry, let me get myself in check. Okay, I don't know that I, my face is any better, but I've got the little lump in my throat gone. <laughs> um, this is our last kid in elementary school. Um, I've had kids in elementary school now for, uh, what's 19 minus five, 14 years. It's really neat to see the last kid kind of leave elementary school because the other schools are kind of big kid schools, you know? Teacher was kind of instrumental in, in giving Ashley the, a good experience in school because she, we started COVID in first grade. Like you have to remember, she started, no, second grade? Second grade, third, fourth, yeah. She started like, well, and for, well, I had to like back up. First grade, her teacher broke her leg like in October. So then she had a substitute teacher the entire rest of the year. So then we go to second grade and COVID starts. And so like halfway through the year. And so she really, was that in first grade? I don't even, what year is it? I don't even remember. We're four years into this. So anyway, second, third, fourth, fifth, yes. Second grade was COVID year. Third grade was homeschool. Like just has not, fourth grade, rough teacher. 
I, I will, I will stand by that rough teacher and then to be diagnosed with her anxiety and to have a rough teacher and it was just bad. So this teacher really took the level and the title of teacher up a notch, like, and is giving Ashley, I <clears throat> just try not to cry, giving her the true um, experience of elementary school that she's deserved for the past four years. And, and her, her, her virtual teacher did an amazing job. I know her virtual teacher. She was an amazing teacher for virtual school. I'm not saying she wasn't. It just was virtual school from a garage and a, and a playroom. Like, it just wasn't normal school. So I'm kind of going a little above that I, what I have normally done in the past for teachers. And I'm not done putting this all together because I want the items to be fresh. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show it to you, but what I'm going to add to this is a bottle of either lemonade, because it's yellow, or if I can find pineapple lemonade um, to go with the theme, but also a fresh pineapple to go, obviously, with all of the above. So I'm going to show you what I kind of pulled together yesterday at the dollar store. Um, it's going to be really cute. Isn't this so cute? I went for the yellow theme just because... Um, the pineapple and yellow is in greens kind of um, just because of the pineapples and because I knew the box was yellow so I found this cute little um, strand I just thought it'd be cute she can decorate her office or her home with that um, it'll look really cute once I kind of get all the filler I'm going to use that filler that we had for Kaylee's and, Ab and Ash who is it Kaylee and Chelsea's birthday I'll put the like fluffy little shred material in here fluff it up um, and then I got these um, wallaby li licorices, um, some face wipes, I got some pineapple gum, and then I found these cute um, pineapple straws, and I actually found these cute cups as well. There's only like a few packs of these, but it's like in this, I mean, it actually kind of looks like a little pineapple on there, um, just with the shape and the colors. So that's why I want to get the lemonade because I've got straws and cups and it wouldn't make sense if I didn't get a drink to go in the straws and cups. <laughs> so we'll get the drink and then the pineapple and you know the, those two will be kind of side by side here and then the Lego kit um, as kind of the big thing. Um, but I just truly want to like thank her for being such a great teacher. It's all going to fall apart now. I wasn't able to get this for any of the other things um, during the year but I want to really like you know, express my gratitude for her being such a great teacher. And then something else that we're going to do, I've talked to the um, girls about this. Because it is the last year in elementary school, and all of my kids have gone to the same elementary school, and all of my kids have had the same front receptionist, front office guru, queen, whatever you want to call her. She she just is such a neat person. I've gotten to know her personally, like we're Facebook friends. You know what I mean? Like we've been friends for a very long time, 14 years, and she knows all of our girls by name. And she asks about the older girls when I go in to pick up Ashley from the nurse's office, <laughs> which is where she almost always is. I walk in, she's like, she's in the nurse's room. She's in the nurse's room. <laughs> just head on back, you're welcome back. So it's a good thing to like know people not for like them being in trouble, but just for like all the illnesses and injuries that they've had, which Ashley has had more than any other kid in my entire uh, like parenthood, okay? But I've asked the girls and we're gonna find a time in the next couple weeks before school ends, but when Abby and Chelsea have early morning school, sorry, are you waiting out there for me? Uh, yeah, I'm doing things, but. Okay, I'll be right out. We're gonna, I'm gonna take Ashley to school and we're gonna all go together, Kaylee, Abby, Chelsea, and Ashley. And I still need to find a present to give, I can't say her name. We have, anyway, she has a special place in our heart. We're all gonna go together and give her this little gift. Um, and when I told Ashley about it, I was like, about this idea, I was like, what do you think about all four of you girls going to give her a little gift and tell her thank you for being such a nice front face? to your school experience. Cause she really has, like she just gives them such peace when they go into school or when they leave school and they're sick or whatever. Um, Ashley just, <laughs> she, again, I think I was catching her emotions for leaving school as well. <clears throat> she said, mom, she's gonna cry. Which I always like making people cry for the right reasons. So, um, 
Anyway, so I've got to find a gift. It won't be anything like this, I don't think. Maybe I will do the pineapple idea, um, but I don't want um, her to think that it's, you know, just the copycat from the teachers, but she really truly has like, you know, it just is comforting to know <clears throat> that people know your kids. You know what I mean? Like, if something were to happen, I could text her. And that's, that's the reality is when you have people on the inside that you know and you trust, it really helps you because it's they're watching over your kids. I'm going to stop crying. Jason has no idea what I'm doing in here. I'm supposed to bring out recycling, <laughs> meet him in the car, and I've been in here doing this. I also got him moon pies, so I think he's just happy right now. He probably just took some extra moon pies out to the car, and he's just sitting there waiting for me. <laughs> so um, I might make him wait longer. No, I can water those when I get home. All right, all of that to be said, let's go to Costco. Jason's favorite thing to do is to take people's carts so that they can uh, get out of their spot faster. And there's the back of some cars waiting for spots, so we got Lucky over on this side. He's getting another cart. I think he's getting it out of her way. Look at him. He's gonna take that one away. The cart thing is right there. All right, I forgot to bring you along. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna bring you along um, but I just got a text from Abby she was checking on peanut butter for us and uh, giving me a list of things that we needed and we had forgotten the poppy sodas we're trying to stay away from sodas so we're gonna keep getting these ones instead then we have some frozen chicken so I can start cooking again <laughs> chips and um, graham crackers some bagels down there. Then we have jelly, cottage cheese, apples, tortillas, milk, bread, carrots, rebate garlic pasta is on rebate, and lasagnas right under there. And then we have eggs, strawberries, and bananas. Up you can turn into a trad wife here. You start cooking again. I will not become that, my friend. <laughs> I can promise you that. And for those of you who don't know what a trad wife is, it's a traditional wife. And I am far from traditional wives because I don't clean toilets. That's obvious. <laughs> I do it. I know. When you find it down the next aisle, you sneak through. Sneaking through. Last thing on our list. The man has been caught in the female territory. I'm just kidding. He's folding laundry for me. We're gonna go for a walk. He was gonna go for a run. He's like, all right, I'll come down to your level. And we'll Shush. go for a walk. I would love to go for a walk with you, but... No sarcasm there at all. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going with you. <laughs> he, was, he was dressed to go for a run. But, and you can go for a run. I can go alone to go walking. No, we'll walk, we'll talk, we'll bond. <laughs> no, I'm listening to a book. <laughs> I need to finish my book before it runs out. Yeah. Did so you look, see how these are turning blue? Our whites are turning blue. What up? Yeah. I didn't put anything else with them. All right. He's, you know, got his life pack on. <laughs> what? Your life pack. You got like. It's called being prepared. That's what Eagle Scouts do. <laughs> I'm not an Eagle Scout because I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't, yeah. I was back in the good days when only boys could be in it. Okay. All right, I don't take anything with me but chapstick and headphones. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking for you now and then. Someone just like you. Can make me feel the way you do Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain All right, so we're actually kind of hiking up into this trail. I've done it like once or twice before, but now I know what the trail does. Um, it loops back around on itself and comes back down to do the little half mile loop that I normally do around the wetlands area. Well, thanks for showing me the trail, I didn't even know. It. Yeah, it goes that further. Um, but I don't, I only go on this trail um, if there's lots of people walking the regular track. 
because you can hear people like yelling from either way. So I don't, I'm always alone. Um, but maybe think of, if you're not on TikTok, maybe you're not aware of this question being posed. And this is nothing against, oh wait, I don't know if it's going to pick up my voice from my headphones. Hopefully it does. Oh. Hang on. Oh. Okay. I forget the headphones turn into like a mic. So the question a female posed, um, a man, you, you asked this question to a man, which I've what? already, I've already asked you this question. What? If oh, the, the, oh. you were to send me a female into or the daughter, woods send your daughter. or your daughter, yeah, your daughter into the woods, would you rather she encounter a bear or a man? Would you rather have her in the woods with, would you leave her in the woods with a man or a bear? Or a bear. She's going to encounter one or the other. Which one would you rather she encounter? Is that for me? I mean, you can, you can give your answer. Well, usually bears run away from humans, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Jason, it's not about... I know. It's about the fact that you have to worry about the man and what he'll do to your daughter. Right. Yes, I understand. That it's the bear... Messed up, it's a messed Women up would rather be in the woods with a bear than they would a strange man. That's the whole point. Yes, which is sad. It's very sad. And uh, men are up in arms. And the men that are up in arms are clearly the ones that men, women need to be worried about. <laughs> anyway, so I don't tend to go up onto trails that I don't know about or I don't have easy access to like, see this trail here. There's already someone right there. Yeah, it's better to stay on the main trails. Yeah. And this main one, in the morning when I usually come, it's late afternoon, but there's moms and old people walking on this a ton. And so I feel safe. But And yeah, there's bears and cougars and probably mountain lions on this in these woods. Maybe. But uh, I don't go too far off into the woods. I never know what could happen with men and that's really sad but I'm enjoying our walk yep. we have our we're gonna go back to listening to our books so all right we have gone home I had a really good I don't even know what meal it was because it wasn't lunch it's not it wasn't dinner I we, we went walked for only three miles three and a half miles or so but I suddenly remembered and it was like almost three o'clock that I hadn't eaten since I had too many pancakes at like nine, ten o'clock this morning. So I I could have gone for a long time longer, but I, I was like, I need to go home and get some food. So went home, had a ham sandwich and some veggies. And then Ashley got home and invited three of her friends. I think there were three. Three of them. So they're all at home. I waited for them to get dropped off and we're at pizza. No, we're not at pizza. We're at Costco getting pizza for them to stay and have a little late night, a little girls' night. Um, but we just went to Verizon to show them. Well, I guess you can't show them the letter, but we got this letter in the mail today. And um, yeah, that's our address. I won't show that. But he's our. He's folded it all up. But we got this letter in the mail from Verizon. And it was all in Spanish. Only one page, and it was all in Spanish. <laughs> Luckily, there's Google Translate, so I translated the whole I thing. I tell a little bit. I knew it was about the watch. I knew it had to tell G yeah. something to do something So when he about. got his last new phone, what, two years ago? 20 it was one months of these ago. one free watches that then, of course, you have a monthly fee for, and then... Well, discount fee. <laughs> whatever. Right. Whatever. You're locked in. It's free, yeah. but you're locked in. And so we thought it had to do with that, but apparently they're raising it five bucks. I don't know what a good... What the hell good is a contract okay, if they okay, can just raise okay. it? Just chill. <laughs> just chill. What? It's a contract. I understand. I can't get out of it, so how come they can raise it? I don't know. That's why I went in. But but while we were talking to him, um, I don't know. We just had mentioned that we own a business or whatever. And he's like, why don't you have a business account? There's discounts for that. And I'm like, he'll save $5 a month. <laughs> so we've actually, um, they have an actual business 
consult person that specializes in the business accounts. So they're gonna put together a little plan and they're gonna present it to him. They're gonna make an appointment with, for, with contact him. Contact us or whatever. Yeah. So we didn't get nothing out of it. We didn't get anything out of it. I'm being, <laughs> you like to give me a hard time. I was just being like. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm kind of done with him. I'm kind of done with him. He's done so well today on not critiquing my driving until this trip. What are you talking about? There was that one turn. I get so annoyed with it. It's not just the one time. I have to like, anyway. So we have like a 30 minute wait to get, maybe less, mm -hmm. to get our pizza. Um, we could have just gotten Papa Murphy's, but. For the price, this is for, such a good deal. It's a really big pizza, so. Anyway, uh, so we'll get the pizza, take it to the girls. I was gonna maybe take it to the park, but the clouds, it's the not clouds bad. are the rolling in. not bad, it's 68. No, it's just, I'm. the rain is supposed to start back tonight. There's and you a can small see chance. It, you small can see chance. rain over there. Small chance. So anyway, uh, I might take the pizza to the girls at the park. Or we'll just tell four, him to come home. Well, it's going to be six by the time we're home and we eat. Maybe I'll go for like That's a, his foot, by the a way. walk run. Yeah. <laughs> a walk run or something like that. So maybe. Oh, you're going to still go for a run? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, All right. I to entertain myself. Although there is the new season of uh, oh. Clarkston's Farm. Oh, yeah. If you ever watched Clarkston Farm on Amazon, yeah. it is awesome. So good. Yeah, it's hilarious. I am saving it. I might do that tomorrow because I'm pretty caught up on life. Um, and I don't know. If you're like so a, funny. If you're a farmer or know anything about it, maybe it's even more funny. Yeah. For us, we don't know a whole lot about that. So, yeah. But it's so Jeremy funny. Jeremy Clarkson is just hilarious. Well, this is that, uh, what's his name, the helper guy. Yeah. They're just, it's it's totally worth watching. You have Amazon, yeah. look yeah. up Clarkston's Farm and start, but just start, start from watching. just start from season one. If you haven't watched it, just start from season one. It's awesome. It's hilarious. So, anyway, I might do that tomorrow. I'm, we'll see. But, um, because it's like, you have to like, like, dedicate time to watching it. This isn't just like one you just like let play. Like, I'll let the reruns play. Like I, if I want just like background noise, I'll let the reruns play, but I'm gonna sit down and watch it, so. Yeah, that's funny. All right, we have to sit and wait for our pizza. All right, we got the pizzas, and I went over to tell Ashley at the park. I'm backing up here. I knew the girls were still at the park, because I could see their text messages going to their other friends who are not here. And so I asked them, went over the park, and asked them if they wanted to come home to eat it or if they wanted me to bring it back to them with plates. So we have plates, napkins, and some oranges. And Jason said he put the, some poppy drinks on the floor for me to give to them as well. It's getting a little bit chilly, so I'm kind of thinking Ashley's gonna need a jacket. I stayed long enough <laughs> at the park that they finished their pizza and gave Ashley a sweatshirt, which I knew she would want. Um, but I just got her another dog, doggy daycare job coming up in a couple weeks. She's watched this dog just like while the wife works upstairs. When she has to work upstairs, the dog like goes nuts because he knows that she's home. But they have two dogs. But he was like, I'm going to be gone all day. And my wife works all day. And I just need someone to come take care of the dog. Are, are you girls really interested in doing that? And I'm like, a hundred percent. So then I said, she has some pre pretty big trips to, I haven't even told you guys. We have a pretty big trip coming up that Ashley needs to start saving money for. So I don't know who those girls are, but um, I love this age of like going into middle school and they just have like this independent streak and they want to be places alone. So they want to find places where they can be alone. And the other girls don't have parks like this in their neighborhood. They're at the park. They don't have parks like this in their neighborhoods. So they don't get to like go off and be independent like this. So they, that's why they all wanted to come over here. So they're gonna play at the park until it's too cold. And then um, they're gonna come back and 
probably pop some popcorn and have them watch a movie upstairs or something. Kaylee's not here tonight with Jacob so they can watch a movie upstairs and just be girly girls. I'm gonna text their moms and tell them they can stay late because if she's occupied, I'm occupied. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna say goodnight to you guys. Um, we got a lot of quiet time at home. <laughs> Chelsea kind of fell asleep. And Jason and I were able to just lay, I laid in bed, Jason watched the show. These guys stayed at the park till pretty, I mean, they stayed at the park for a while and then came back to the house screaming, laughing, carrying on for like an hour. Chelsea slept through the whole thing. I have no idea how she slept through it. I could hear them upstairs um, in my room with the door closed. <laughs> it's crazy. <Really? laughs> you said that on camera on purpose. No, we're not going. Okay. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 15. No. Please. I made them, well, we got them pizza and oranges and poppies at the park. And then when they got home from the park, I made them some Ninja Creamies. Some ice cream, protein ice cream with peanut butter in it. It actually tastes so good. Though. Yeah, those were really good. There's one more in the freezer you can have tomorrow night if you want. I kind of want it now. You don't need it now. Um, they probably had more snacky stuff when mm. I didn't know. Did you know that Chelsea slept through all of your screaming? Yeah, I did. It's insane. I can't believe she slept through all that. Um, but you just ended up dropping everyone off and talking to one of the moms. So, um, do you have a fun time? Mm -hmm. You tired? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sign off with you guys. Um, we will see you guys next time. Tomorrow, Jason and I get to go out to dinner with our friends group. We're gonna go to, I think it's called Acropolis, a little Greek restaurant. Um, and Jason and I used to go down there all the time. It's in a city, three cities away. Two cities away. How far away is it? It's just in Kirkland. But it has the best grinders. So I hope they still have them because now I'm like really craving it. Um, and they also have like calzones and I think it's Greek food, obviously. So um, we will see you tomorrow and maybe we'll do something fun during the day. Maybe Abby will let you to the. Maybe you yeah, can go okay. and do the arcade tomorrow. Is this the right street? Okay, <laughs> I gotta go. I was on side streets till now, but I gotta go. Take care, you guys. Bye.